Familial dysautonomia affects the autonomic nervous system. This is a part of the nervous system that affects every other part of the nervous system, which makes us a very complex disease. It affects the eyes, it affects nutrition, eating, breathing, the spine, so that you have to really look at the total child and understand every aspect of their well-being. The brain of people with FD lacks that information that you and I have about what's happening in our body. So this lack of information, the fact that the cables do not take the information from their body makes their physiology very, very special. We do an incredible amount of work here to try and really understand this population and this disease. And we're in a unique position where we have a large population of FD patients and we're the only facility in the world that can look in such detail at these reflexes and we're poised, if we can, to understand the problems. You and I, if we get excited, happy or sad, our blood pressure, our heart rate will change, but will change a little bit because quickly there is a feedback mechanism, sort of like an automatic pilot that will correct any change. Well, people with FD don't have that mechanism. So what happens? If they get sad or, or they get very upset or even if they get very happy, their blood pressure shoots up and shoots up incredibly high. Before their blood pressure shooting up, they also can start sweating. They can get, um, their, their face turns red. They, they can have intense nausea, vomiting, all these very, very unpleasant sensations that may be triggered just by an emotion. We try to collect as much information as possible in as short period of time as possible, not to overstress patients more than necessary. We each cover a different element of the test and uh, doing so allows us to collect a lot of information and uh, at the same time be considerate to, to the patient and uh, his time. I would call it personalized medicine. And, and why do I call it personalized medicine? You see, People with FD have a set of very, very uh, peculiar problems. They have problems with their blood pressure, they have problems with their kidneys, problems with their breathing, problems with their bones. And although there are similarities between patients, there are also differences. And each of them is his own, his or her own individual and has a very specific pattern of abnormality. It requires an analysis of many children to develop an appropriate treatment plan. Otherwise, something is anecdotal. But medicine has to be evidence-based. And to do that, you need a critical mass. And once you have established a center of excellence where people can come and share the information and create a database, and analyze what you do in a very scientific way, then you can apply that information to the patient and they will benefit. We've been working 24-7, almost seven days a week, with an, with an incredibly dedicated team. And I must tell you that we have effectively redefined the disease. I, I think we understand what's called the phenotype which are the characteristics of the disease, I think we understand it now significantly better and that not only we understand it better, I think we know where to go from here in a, in a much clearer way. In 2001, something very exciting happened. We found the gene for familial dysautonomia. The immediate effect of that information was that we were able to launch population screening so that people in the community could know whether or not they're carrying this potentially dangerous gene. We are now ready to roll out several studies, prospective studies, using new drugs and new treatments to 
try to approach or to, to treat effectively the problems that people with FD have. You can see the change you can make in, uh, in other people's life. And we already noticed that uh, in some part with our effort, uh, lives of several patients have been substantially improved and that is an extremely rewarding feeling. From the personal point of view, it's also very interesting because these patients are very warm and they are absolutely um, counting on us to be there. The Dysautonomia Center has had a significant impact on the health and welfare of these children. We have been able to continue to offer comprehensive care to these families. We are a resource for them they are able to refer their own physicians to us, they're able to refer their teachers to us, their therapists to us, and we are always there for the families.